What's going on there guys? Good evening, it's Earthmaster here on this Monday night, uh, July 18th, 2022. It's about 8.58 p.m. West Coast time. A little late tonight, but hey, better late than never for this update. A 1.9 out here. Looks like off the coast of the Morocco region. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map. This here is the latest tremor map tonight along the Cascadia subduction zone. Showing about 258 epicenters of tremor, pretty good increase in movement along the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, mostly up here uh, north and of course obviously underneath this area, about 35-45 kilometers down dip into the uh, Cascadia zone. Uh, looking at the latest info here from the USGS map showing one earthquake here within the last hour. A 4.7 in the northern Mariana Islands area. Pretty shallow earthquake there at about 10 kilometers. Overall, seismic activity though has been mostly heightened around this area of the world. If you look at the rest of the Pacific Plate here, things are pretty quiet. Uh, we did have one earthquake up here into the uh, uh, off the coast of Russia. It's right at the bend here, kind of at the, the end of the Aleutian Trench. Uh, still within that uh, subduction zone though. 4.4 at 10 kilometers. Uh, looking at this activity here around the eastern part of Afghanistan, looks like it is occurring right there around the border region where we've seen that uh, large earthquake here. Has it been over a month or so? Let me see. I think it has been. Uh, no, it's just been uh, just under a month. We had that 5.9 shaking things out there around the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. So that's kind of where all this activity is occurring today. Some aftershock sequences in the 4 and 5 range within that same region. Also up north here, uh, still within the Afghanistan area. A couple uh, moderate sized earthquakes, but pretty deep though. Uh, 206 kilometers and 209 for those earthquakes. 5.0 and a 4.3. Looking further west here, one earthquake in eastern Iraq. Kind of right around the border it looks like. It's actually on the Iran side, 4.4 at 10 kilometers. And of course, as noted on the Earthquake 3D globe, seen some activity here. Uh, looks like it may be off the coast of Algeria. N nothing showing up here on the USGS map, uh, but some smaller earthquakes on the EMSC model. South America, not a whole lot going on here, folks. One earthquake into the Argentina area. This is kind of underneath Argentina, 240 kilometers deep way down there into the Peru Chile Trench. That's about it showing up there on that map. Looking over here around the Puerto Rico area. Uh, not a whole lot going on. We got one 2.3 within the last hour. Aside from that, some older movement down here in the Dominica area. Uh, not a whole lot going on through Haiti or the Jamaica region. All areas around the Caribbean plate aside from that look pretty quiet. Uh, over here in the Middle America Trench though, a little earthquake activity. Looks like a, a couple low grade four magnitude earthquakes there up and down the board. Uh, here's some of that activity I was talking about uh, that we should be watchful for uh, if we start to see Atlantic Ocean or the Atlantic uh, areas start to see, uh, you know, further movement here. Uh, looks, here's that 5.9. I don't think we've had anything, at least here on this map above 4.0 in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, let me check the EMSC model real quick here because I want to see if there's anything smaller uh, or maybe something that the USGS is not reporting that's leading to the activity in the states there. Uh, what's going on here? Do we have it? I'm not really interested. There's obviously a little bit of activity throughout the Mediterranean, but I'm looking for the world map here. Last 50, there we go. Um, can't really see too much activity over here. Doesn't look like a whole lot showing up e either on the EMSC model. So uh, either way, I was looking at this activity um, here in the eastern part of the country in North or South Carolina once again, near the Elgin region. Uh, this activity is kind of coming after the movement that we've seen way up north, way up here in the uh, Jan Mayen area. They've seen that 5.9 yesterday. Uh, but I have noticed a little bit of uh, increase in activity here in the states, eastern part of the country, also Oklahoma area getting in on some activity today within the last hour near the Hennessy region. 
Uh, West Coast region looking uh, fairly, you know, kind of moderate. Not a whole lot going on. Got a little activity near the uh, uh, the boat fish area or bod fish south of Lake Isabella. Uh, some earthquake activity out there today. This area has seen a little bit of swarming over the last few days. Nothing major going on. Uh, kind of out there at the southern end of the Sierra Nevada mountains. Also over here around the Ridgecrest area seeing some movement uh, further down south here into the San Jacinto fault zone. Activity looks very typical there. Seen a little bit of migration here outside of the Salton City area with uh, a couple microquakes. We did see a 2.4. That one uh, kicking off earlier this afternoon it looks like. Things still somewhat active. One earthquake a little bit closer over here to the east, a little point eight. Got to watch this area for any significant swarming that we may note here around the uh, San Andreas Fault. That's kind of a, a major area and possibly producing, I wouldn't say possibly because we know uh, that it's going to produce a big one. We just don't know why it's taken so long. Uh, but then again, I think the longer it uh, goes on, the, the larger it's going to be. But uh, we are just one more day closer to seeing this thing strike here. Uh, and unzip in Southern California. Just a matter of time, folks, let me tell you. Uh, some activity out around San Francisco here, northwest of the San Francisco Zoo. Hmm, 1.2 and a 1.1, right smack dab on this area of the San Andreas Fault. And of course, further, act, uh, further activity up north there with the Calpine hydrothermal operations out there, south of Clear Lake. This earthquake here around the Gorda Plate here, off the Gorda Escarpment from last night, uh, 2.8. Not a whole lot going on there. Uh, here's some of the activity up in Washington. We are seeing a noticeable increase, and that's probably because of the tremor map that we're looking at tonight, right? A lot of deep earthquake movement or a deep tremor activity here underneath the plates uh, into the subduction zone. Of course, that does add strain further up north or further to the west, which is the subduction zone, and also crustal quakes around the area. I mean, if you really think about it, uh, you're taking a plate and shoving it underneath another one, it's going to kind of warp and, and create these little earthquakes. Uh, and that's kind of consistent with what we're seeing tonight here uh, throughout the region. Some activity around Mount Rainier, low activity outside of Victoria, and up further north around the Mount Vernon area. Uh, let's see what else we got. Alaska is Alaska, right? Beautiful area up there. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity. Just a couple very typical movement, very small microquake activity here for a uh, major subduction zone. There's no tremor. I mean, there's no uh, um, large scale event going on. Everything looks pretty calm up there for now. Big Island of Hawaii. Taking a look at the Loihi Seamount. Uh, looks like we had, let's see if we got any activity. Last activity was from earlier this morning, it looks like, a 2.5. That is the uh, submarine volcano out there. Been watching a swarm of activity, indicating some magma movement around that area. Uh, looks like it may be dying off for a little bit, but keep an eye on that pretty closely. A little bit of movement up around the Mauna Loa area and the Pahala regions all showing a little bit of earthquake activity tonight. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yellowstone National Park. We always like to check it, but there's always days where it's like this. Just nothing going on. Not a whole lot at all, folks. Um, nothing going on in this one. It looks like there were some wind events. A lot of people don't think that there's wind events that show up here. But let me tell you, ask any seismologist or geologist there, uh, and they will tell you that they do show up on quite a few seismograph stations. Um, not for sure what the wind is uh, up there, but uh, definitely looks like uh, it could be windy. It's uh, the uh, readings here look very similar to, to wind events. There's a couple small earthquakes here in the vicinity of this seismograph station, uh, which is the uh, Norris Junction region. But those are very extremely small, barely showing up on any of the other seismographs. And far as the rest of the park goes, no unusual earthquake activity. No harmonic tremor, no magma movement taking place here, folks, that, that uh, is noted at all across the board. Uh, looking at the space weather events tonight, uh, let's go ahead and bring it over here real quick. See what we got. A little bit of activity. The thing I'm watching pretty closely is the coronal hole. 
uh, movement. This here is getting ginormous. It looks like it's starting to connect up here. Uh, these two, they were separate, but man, this thing is, it's huge and it is rotating in the view. Now, coronal holes up here, this is just an example here, as dark areas in the solar coronal in the uh, extreme ultraviolet and soft x-ray images, kind of what I just showed you. Uh, they appear dark because they are cooler, less dense regions than the surrounding plasma and are regions of open uh, unipolar magnetic fields. This open magnetic field line structure allows the solar wind to escape uh, more into space, uh, resulting in streams of relatively fast solar wind, which will be affecting Earth here. Uh, just looking at this view, I mean, it looks pretty, it looks like it's going to be well directed to Earth. Um, here in the coming days Kind of see it on this one too just a little bit kind of see that those darker regions right there Some of these sunspots are not all that uh, awesome looking in fact It looks like the flare threat has dropped a little bit uh, But keep an eye open here for this fast-moving solar wind stream here over the next few nights. This should be elevated uh, Potentially soon right now current uh, speed is pretty low uh, down below the 500 it looks like density is just dropped off completely and everything looks pretty stable here with the BTBZ component not a whole lot going on uh, in terms of solar weather activity currently but that's all subject to change right we'll see how that uh, uh, adjusts with that wind stream that's heading our way from those coronal holes all right guys have a good night stay safe out there uh, again the drawing 75,000 subscriber giveaway uh, was held and uh, that is up on the channel. If you haven't been uh, or haven't had a chance to watch it, you may want to. We're still waiting on a few winners there to notify us. I uh, got quite a few though already that have keyed in on the email and uh, they will be receiving their uh, prizes soon. So make sure you go check it out uh, if you're uncertain on if you won or not. Uh, we'll probably wait a couple days, and if uh, we don't get all the winners contacting us, then we will reply on the um, on the comments there for the uh, entry video. All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, like I say, just kind of entering a little quiet spell. I mean, nothing's really standing out too much in terms of uh, monitoring. Um, I still think we're we should be seeing some activity here along the Atlantic real soon. Uh, it's just, it's been all too quiet here within this region. I know they go through, a, it's a pretty active earthquake region. So, uh, and also the Fiji Islands area has gone super duper quiet. One 3.6 down here in the New Zealand area. But uh, man, it's just kind of a, kind of an odd day looking at the globe today. All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, stay safe. We will chat you a little bit later on. Peace out, everyone.